better. This is about now the manifestation of yes. the power of mm -hmm. God. Yes, yes. yes. These Amen. The Praise the Lord. These signs. Come on, mm -hmm. Brother Leo. Hallelujah. Here, take this microphone. <laughs> <laughs> these signs shall follow them that believe. Amen. Praise the Lord. So church, amen, we, 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 we've got to be in this place now where there's an expectation for the glory of the Lord to be revealed all the time wherever the saints of God are. Amen. 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 Praise amen. the Lord. Amen. And, and, I, and I say that, uh, uh, you know, it, 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 when Jesus said that these signs amen. shall follow them that believe. Mm -hmm. When Jesus said, greater works shall yes. you do, because yes. I go to the Father, mm -hmm. then church, there ought to be an expectation yes, on our part mm -hmm. of greater works. Mm -hmm. You ought to get tired of riding the ferry and say, I'm going to walk across the water. There we go. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Amen. The power Praise the Lord. I want to see the power of the mm -hmm. Lord. Amen. Yeah. Instead of driving to Tacoma, just be translated. Amen. And instead of yeah. going yeah. there, just be there. Yes. Amen. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. We ought, we ought to say that wherever sickness, we we want to have the power mm -hmm. to heal the sick. Right. So, 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 Lord willing, next Sunday, Sister uh, Sheila going to get the, uh, when the times are available, and we want to be able to go there on a regular basis. Church, now, and you all know how we are. We don't like to start nothing and finish. Once we start it, we going to stay with it. That's right. Amen. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and. You know, I know it might not be a whole lot of folks, but when we start something, we're going to stay with it. We're yes. going to stick with it because, you know, anybody, yeah, a, whole, a whole lot of us start stuff, don't we? How many of us finish stuff? That's right. That's right. Amen. That's true. Praise the Lord. So we want, we're gonna, once we start something, we're going to stay there. And, That's right. and it's going to be taxing sometime. You're not going to want to go. You're going to want to go home. <laughs> Glory to God. Yeah. Amen. And, and, and church, so, so this is going to be a very serious aspect of the ministry. Mm -hmm. And uh, and and our our desire is to is to have the Father's House Church functioning in ministry seven days a week, twenty-four hours a day, three hundred and sixty-five days a year, three sixty-six only. If seven eleven can minister to your natural man. That time frame, the church ought to be available to the spirit man. Yes, sir. And the right. church say, yes. Amen. Amen. Uh, looking at the book of Joshua. Joshua chapter number 14. Sister Lisa, whatever we pay in you, just add 30% to that. <laughs> You just got a raise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Joshua chapter number 14. Verses 6 through 12. Then the children of Judah came unto Joshua in Gilgal, and Caleb the son of Jephone, the Kenizzite, said unto him, Thou knowest the thing that the Lord said unto Moses, the man of God, concerning me and thee in Kadesh Benel. Forty years old was I. And Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Benel to spy out the land. And I brought him word again, as it was in my heart. Nevertheless, my brethren that went up with me made the heart of the people melt. But I wholly followed the Lord my God, and Moses swear on that day, saying, Surely the land whereon thy feet have trodden shall be thine inheritance, and thy children's forever, because thou hast wholly followed the Lord my God. And now, behold, the Lord hath kept me alive, and he said these forty and five years, even, every, every, even since the Lord spake this word unto Moses, while the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness. And now, lo, I am this day fourscore and five years old. And yet I am as strong this day as I was in the day that Moses sent me. Hallelujah. As my strength was then, even so is my strength now. Can I just interject right here uh, uh, something that we need to say. 
the promise of God will keep you. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You ought to say, the promise of God will keep me. Will keep me strong. Will keep me agile. Will keep me until the provision. Until the provision. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. He says, let me just begin. He said, and, and, and amen. Verse 11, as yet I am as strong this day as I was in the day that Moses sent me. As my strength was then, even so is my strength now. For war both to go out and to come in. Yes, and Jesus. now, therefore, give me this mountain, whereof the Lord spake in that day. For thou heardest in that day how the Anakims were there and that the cities were great and thence. If so be the Lord will be with me, then I shall be able to drive them out, as Hallelujah. the Lord said. Yes. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his holy word in every heart, be enriched therein. And today, Father, we pray in Jesus' name that you give us ears to hear what the Spirit is saying yes, to the church. Yes, Lord, Lord give, let the anointing of the Holy Ghost rest upon us as the impartation of God flows from the throne of grace. Yes, Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You may be seated. Amen. Today we want to talk about don't give up on God. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Yes. Don't give up on God. In church, amen, when we consider where we are today, Problems are not, uh, may, let me just say, problems may not be uh, no more greater at this time than they've ever been. But we have access by virtue of the World Wide Web, the TV, amen, 24-hour news feed. We have access to so much information so that you know about murders that take place in Japan, in the Philippines, mm -hmm. in New Mexico. You know about situations that, you know, you, mm -hmm. we know everything. Yes. Amen. And church, we find out because we know so much that this is a very violent world. Yes. Amen. Yes. This is a, and, and not only is it a violent world, but it's also a violent time. Yeah. Amen. And, and, and the scripture says that in the last days there will be wars and rumors mm -hmm. of wars. The scripture says that there will be pestilence. Amen. And, yes. amen. and, and, and we see uh, a multitude of that. And church, all of us, we, none of us are ignorant to a few years ago, I believe there was 200,000 people killed at one time mm -hmm. because of an earthquake and a mm -hmm. tidal wave over in Thailand, in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, in Haiti, uh, it was approximately, was it about 100,000 people that were killed down there at an earthquake just here about a year ago? Wow. I'm talking about uh, just bam, just mm -hmm. like that. Uh, and church, the, the, we, we, we uh, a whole lot of folks are upset because of the fall of the economy. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you know, let me tell you, church, don't, let, don't, ever, don't never let anyone tell you things are bad if they are not. That's right. Amen. Because a lot of times you can just look at the news and people will tell you that you feel bad when you feel good. Mm -hmm. Amen. So don't mm -hmm. fall into that trap right. of just letting somebody else dictate uh, the way that you feel, the way that, you know, your perception is, your reality is not somebody else's perception. Let yes, me say sir. it like Come that. On. Don't uh -huh. never let anybody, amen, tell you how you feel. You know how you feel. Amen. Amen. And a lot of times people will have you afraid when there is nothing to be afraid about. They will have you fearful when there is nothing to fear. They will have you running when nobody is chasing you. That's right. My Hallelujah. God. They will have you hating because they hate. Come, amen. Right, Praise man. the Lord. Right. Amen. Yes. And church, and, and let me tell you, this is a year when uh, we got another election, uh, mid-cycle election. Let me give you all a, I'm gonna, this is the only political spiel I'm going to make. 
amen, about the election. Don't ever let anybody promise you something that God has already given you. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Come on. Amen. Mm -hmm. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Because a lot of times politicians promise you something that God has already given. Man, don't buy into that. Please, you know better than that. Amen. Mm -hmm. 